Hi guys, it's Erin for the Red Carpet Report and today we are at the 2012 Media Access Awards focusing on disability awareness and inclusion in the entertainment industry. We're here, how are you today? I'm pretty good, how are you? It's for being pretty early, you look really nice. Thank you. Yeah. I, got, I got up already and then put a... Oh. I, I kind of put it in. You put it in? <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. Yeah. She's on the look She's looking Perfect. out. She's on the lookout. <laughs> so tell us about why you are in such support of the Media Access Award. Um, well, I've played, I've played a couple parts uh, that got me introduced to, uh, um, you know, the, the community and, and being kind of, uh, I like to be a part of it. I think that it shows the the uh, uh, diversity of, of the society we live in, and I think that doing that honestly is a really, really positive thing, and giving uh, this community a voice is, is important. So I'm kind of honored to be able to uh, be here and do that. Do you think the industry is changing as far as um, having a better representation of people with dis disabilities in scripts? I do. I think that, uh, uh, I th hopefully, I like to think that uh, the industry is moving towards a more honest portrayal of, of uh, the diversity with everyone, including uh, you know ethnicities, uh, sexual orientation, you know disabilities, everything. I think that that's um, a really positive thing, and I think that that is happening um, within within the industry. I think that's a very good step. Yeah. Um, being that you have played characters that have had you know disabilities, do you think? I mean, this is a, a popular question today. Do you think that um, casting directors should consider folks? with disabilities for those roles first before they would consider a n normal, uh, able-bodied actor for those roles? Mm -hmm. Sorry, what's the qu what do you mean, what's the question? I so, don't understand. For the characters that are disabled, do you think that casting directors should look at folks who are truly disabled first before they look at able-bodied? Well, I mean, I'm not, I've never tried casting, so uh, I, it's hard for me to put my, myself in, in their, their position. Um, but uh, I think that I think that uh, uh, including the possibility of, of anyone doing that is is a is a positive thing, including you know disabled and not disabled, you know, regardless of, of what that is. Just whoever is going to be able to bring the right stuff to the role. So, what other um, charities do you like to support during the year? Um, I'm here. I'm in this building about once a year with with the Humane Society. Uh, at the Genesis Award, so that's really fun. Um, and those those are kind of the two things that I'm kind of involved with right now. Okay. Yeah. Do you think it's better to focus on maybe one charity versus a ton of different things? I think if you are lucky enough to uh, uh, have you be invited to things and 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 be asked to represent things that are that are positive and and you know uh, good forces in the world, if you will, uh, I think that you know do as many of them as you can. I I, I think that. I, I definitely, I'm someone who gets, you know, overwhelmed quickly, so I don't know how many I'd be able to do, but uh, but I like I like the ones that I'm involved with. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for supporting the Media Access Awards and being here today. Have a great time in there. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you.